Good afternoon, St. Mary's of uh, Oskaloosa. So I just wanted to show you guys the grand prize from last year was a mirror owl, uh, as you can see here. And I just so happened to get it. Um, it was it was awesome because I was I was actually eyeballing it, and I was like, well, if nobody takes it, I'll I'll, I'll grab it. And then uh, I think Bob Vice won it, but then he ended up giving it to me, so that's cool. And then I just got. I got the uh, I got him here to keep me company on a lonely Friday afternoon. So, uh, so yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys that just something that we're doing once a year is the or we have been doing it once a year is the uh, Sweet Sunday Social. So the auction. Feel free to drop off your donations if you want to donate an, uh, an auction item. You can do that between February first and the twenty fifth. Uh, Any time. Feel free to bring it by my office, and uh, yet yeah, we'll be taking those donations. And then that the weekend following the 25th will be the Sweet Sunday Social. So you can come and then check out what we have and then bid on it. Um, the owl will not be up for grabs. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to part ways, or it would be hard to part ways. So uh, so we will keep it here. So I, but I just wanted to make that mention. If you got something awesome and you want to you know help the parish, that would be super. That would be super helpful. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, something did. Uh, uh, something did come up this last week that I thought was cool, and it wasn't like you know anything spectacular, but it was just like a really profound experience. So um, I thought I'd share with you. I'm not tooting my own horn here, but it was just kind of it was just one of those moments that pays to be a Christian. You know, there's a lot of moments that don't pay, and you're just like, what am I doing here? But this one was really awesome, uh, and I just want to share my joy. I think with the parish, and I think it came. You know, part of it was from. Um, well, anyways, but I was, I was downtown. So on, on Mondays, I like to go downtown just to do like a little retreat or go to Des Moines, uh, just to do a retreat. And I've been bumping into a homeless guy that sits on the corner of the church and, uh, and just kind of, you know, he's out there, he's asking for money and stuff. And I typically will go to the, uh, okay. Sorry about that. Awkward pause. Madonna came in. I wasn't sure who it was. So I want to make sure I wasn't under attack, but, um, but anyway, so. I kept bumping, bumping into this guy when I'd go down to Des Moines and uh, on my way to Planned Parenthood, I would see a rosary down there and then I'd walk back and I'd see this man there and he'd usually just be kind of asking for money. So I started to talk to him, you know, and see, see what his story was. And I guess he shattered the back of his spine at one point and he um, wasn't able to work, can't lift more than 10 pounds. So he's just out there, you know, every day. And one day I was coming back and I was frozen to the bone and I was, I cannot imagine what this guy's feeling. So I said, Hey, come on, let's go. And you know, I'll just take you to, I'll just take you to lunch or something. And as we were talking, it turns out that he has been saving money. He says like every time he would make a buck, he'd put like half of it away, you know, just to save up. And so he finally got to a point where he was about to um, be able to get into an apartment because the, he worked something out with the government with his disabilities and stuff. And, and the apartment was helping him out too, I guess. And, um, and so he said, I was this much closer. I was like X amount of dollars away. Um, and for me, it was, it was nothing, you know, like that, that was, that was a very insignificant amount, but for him, it would have taken a couple, you know, maybe a couple weeks or whatever at the rate he was going. Uh, so I was like, Hey, I mean, it'd be an honor for me to like, you know, help you out. And so, so I did. And, uh, and he was just explaining it later. He, he was like, give me your number, man. And I'll, I'll invite you over. We'll have like coffee or something. And I was like, okay, sure. So I went over last Monday and we were hanging out. And we were just talking and he was just sharing with me, you know, like the beauty of, well, he was saying that when he got to his bed, when he got a bed, someone donated him one, he said he couldn't sleep. He, he was just so happy to have his own place because he had been outside for a year. And after Bart's experience, after listening to that, it really moved me, impacted me, but we don't understand what it feels like to sleep outside every day, you know, uh, and just freeze it, freeze our tail off. So uh, he was just explaining when he was laying in a bed, he actually couldn't fall asleep because he was just, it was like, it was almost uncomfortable for him, it was so comfortable. Uh, so it's just like a beautiful story. And for me, that was just a moment in my life where, you know, there's a lot of moments where it doesn't pay to be a Christian and you're like, oh, why am I doing this? But there's those moments that's like, wow, you know, imagine, imagine the good that we're going to see, you know, when we look back at our lives and, you know, the little actions that, you know, we just kind of make little sacrifices. We're just going to see somebody, you know, being spared, uh, you know, a whole, you know, 30 days of cold or, you know, a day without food or whatever, you know, depending, or if we make donations to Africa or whatever, like all of that food that this person gets to receive, like that uh, uh, elimination of pain falls on us, which is really beautiful. So just a little encouragement, you know, just kind of my own story. I just want to share my joy and a testimony, you know, that, um, 
that uh, you know God is God is incredibly merciful. You know, so something to something to keep in mind. Okay, I'm going over. Uh, say a prayer for me, and hopefully see you Sunday. God bless.